in Biani Group of Colleges and Department of Chemistry. Today, uh, we will enlighten uh, some of the work given by various scientists. Topic is Atomic Models, History and Inventions by various co-workers. As we familiar that initially at the time of invention of various types of compounds, we were known that the atom was indivisible, means there were no method to discover the various types of subatomic particles present in the atom. Afterwards, the number of workers have done their work and the pioneers were J. J. Thompson and the co-workers with him. Afterwards, Rutherford gave their experiment and then more have refined the atomic model. So, today we will discuss about the J. J. Thompson and co-workers and the Rutherford experiment which explored that the atom is not indivisible particle. Atom were composed by various type of subatomic particles and the experiment done by Rutherford on the gold foil and he has depicted their work is what he has taken, he has taken the source of alpha particle and after passing from the slit, he has passed these alpha particles on the gold foil, that is the gold foil and he has taken one scintillation device which was zinc sulphide plate who has recognized the various types of particles if strike on the surface of zinc sulphide. What he has done? He has created the source of alpha particles and strike on the gold foil and he has observed the number of observations basically were three. One was the max maximum number of alpha particles were undeviated means they directly strike on the surface of zinc sulphide and there were no any particle were completely recoiled or reconciled. But out of 20,000 particles, one particle was hit back to the source of the alpha particle. That means, he has drawn the number of conclusions. From first part, he has concluded that the max part of the nucleus were empty. If we want to elaborate it, he has suggested that the nucleus was concentrated on the central of the atom and the maximum part of the atom were empty. That is why when the alpha particle hits on the surface of the gold atom, then it got undeviated. But out of 20,000, one alpha particle were rebound again to the source and he has concluded that some must be there in the center of atom where the alpha particle was rebound and that is why he has made an assumption that the most of the part of the atom and the nucleons at that time the nucleon term were uh, not used he has given that the most of the part of the nucleus was concentrated at the central part. And from third part, number of alpha particles made the angle and these angles suggested that there must be a repulsive force present between the alpha particles and the central mass of the atom and this central mass must have the positive charge because of the alpha particles are the nucleus of helium atom means that is the positive charge species. 
this positive charge species is repulsive in nature that means the nucleus were having must having the positive charge so these three conclusions have gave the enlightenment up towards the atomic model afterwards rutherford experiment bohr has summarized the postulates and elaborate by the help of max planck quantum theory and after the invention of dual nature of particles he has given the number of assumptions number of theories and that was the bohr's atomic model that we will discuss later on thank you